to another episode of Kirsten's Cuisine and uh, today I will show you how to make a very quick but delicious recipe um, and that is spaghetti with green pesto. So here are the ingredients. Very basic one, really easy and quick to, to do. The essential part is of course fresh basil. Take the ordinary one, no fancy like Thai basil or lemon basil, uh, just the plain ordinary one. Then good Parmigiano Reggiano, so Parmesan cheese. Fleur de sel, so a good salt. And here is my adaption. The original Pesto alla Genovese is of course with pine seeds, but uh, as they are fairly costly, um, I experimented a little bit around and I get to very nice results using hazelnuts and walnuts. So also I have the privilege to have a walnut and a hazelnut tree behind the house. So that lowers the cost considerably, but also for yourself, if you have to buy them, they are much cheaper than pine seeds and very delicious as well for our pesto. Then um, you can either take olive oil only or maybe like I'm going to do tonight, a little bit of nut oil. Make sure with nut oil it doesn't like heat. So when using the food processor, process very, very shortly only. So nut oil doesn't like heat or temperature. Okay, and um, that is the basic recipe. I prefer it like this, very basic. You could add a little bit of lemon. You could add a little bit of garlic. That's basically up to you. I like mine pure as it is, okay? Then we are going to make the pesto now and serve it with our spaghetti. And that's it. So here you can see the final result and I'm really happy with it. I mean, look at this gorgeous green intense color. It's so beautiful. It's spaghetti with green pesto like I'd say the pasta cooked for about six, seven minutes and uh, the pesto was even quicker. So it's really a dish you can serve within 10 minutes of time. Um, late at night, if you don't have time, if you're very busy and it's delicious, if you have something, uh, some pesto left, uh, you can store it in the fridge. Just be sure to cover it with a layer of olive oil, then it keeps the color, otherwise it gets a little bit brownish and uh, that doesn't like influence the taste in any bad sense, but well, the appearance will not be so nice like it is now. So see you soon back for another episode of Kirsten's Cuisine and now I say bon appétit. So let's try if it actually tastes well. Just like mix it around a little bit. Okay, well for the camera, let's make it quick, short and sweet. Hmm. <laughs> mm. That's very really good. That's really delicious. Okay, see you back for another episode soon. Bye bye.